So the other day the fuel pump went out in my Mini Cooper. You can check out that video. I got the replacement in the mail. I got the car already. Got plastic everywhere because of the gas splatters somewhere. That smell's gonna be in the car for a long time. Make sure you disconnect the battery. Relieve any pressure in the fuel tank by opening the fuel cap. Better look at the plug, it slides. button right here after you get that brown clip off might get a little spray of gas but that line will come off this is the high pressure fuel line in the non s there's a Schrader valve on the on the fuel rail that you can relieve the fuel pressure easily because you can easily access the fuel rail <coughs> the smells um, on the Cooper S the fuel rail is under the intercooler and it's hard to get to so it's up to you if you want to take that off and deal with all that and you need to remove this plug there's one more uh, line in here to pop off you just pull it up out of the clips I'm sorry you can't see it but you'll be able to see it on your own pump. Now the pump can come out. It's gonna be full of gas so I don't tip it over. Angle it out. Towards the front a little bit to get the float out. Now it's dripping everywhere. That's why you put the plastic down. Before you install your new pump, make sure that it has this screen on it. I buy used stuff, so I'm not sure if the brand new pumps will come with the screens or not, but it's something to look into. Just clean this screen with a toothbrush before you put it on to your new pump. The second thing you want to do is charge this reservoir with gas so that when your pump starts up it has something to keep it cool. We can put this in.
before you set this green part down into the tank, you need to take this seal and set it in there. You kind of have this lipped part and that goes in like that all the way around. like that. Take your ring and get it ready. Just take a look, make sure it's aligned. Twist your ring back on. You don't have to wail on it, just hit it. Now you can plug it back in. Now you can plug back in your battery, retighten your gas cap, and try and start your car. See what happens. Well, now we'll see if the fuel pump works. And here's what the old. And here's what the. And here's what the pump looks like inside. That's the actual pump right there.